What's up guys, V here. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install a all-in-one liquid cooler on your CPU. I'm gonna use the Enermax AquaFusion ADV. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I already unboxed everything. We have to figure out where we're gonna mount the radiator first. We're gonna go ahead and install the fans onto our radiator. And I'm gonna be mounting my radiator at the top here. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna put it this way. So that's the way I'm gonna mount it just like this, which means I'm gonna mount my fans with the cables facing the back. This is the way that they're gonna go, just like this. Now we're gonna take the bag with all the longer screws and there's some short screws in there as well. Those are the ones you're gonna use to mount the radiator to your case. So these long ones, the way these work, you put them all the way through the fan, they stick out just a little bit on this end, and they go into the hole on the radiator and then you just screw them in. So there we go. I got one fan mounted and there you can see what I mean. The screws just go all the way through this, these holes and then they screw into the holes on the radiator. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this one and then we'll install it into our case. Now keep in mind, these don't have to be super tight. So we got all that perfectly mounted and now we're gonna go ahead and install the radiator into the case. So for this process, I'm gonna hold the radiator up here and with these smaller screws in that same bag, these are gonna go into the holes on the backside here and through the case to hold it up. First, I wanna go ahead and take these cable ties off so it'll be easier to feed these cables to the back. Now we're gonna go ahead and take those small screws and put them through the top. Now I got two screws in there. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the case just so you can see. So just like that, screw them in. Again, these don't need to be super tight or anything. Basically hand tight as soon as you feel it's uh, like tightening up, give it a little snug and you're good. Now we can go ahead and move on to installing the block onto the motherboard. So if you already had a cooler on your motherboard and you removed it, there's probably thermal paste. Go ahead and clean it off with some alcohol and some paper towels. If your motherboard has these brackets, you're gonna have to take them off and I'll show you that in a second. But first let's figure out how we're gonna mount this. So to me, it looks like it's gonna get mounted just like this. I think that's perfect. The cables don't look kinked or anything. Everything looks good. So that's how I'm gonna mount it. So there you can see where I would mount these brackets. So in my case, I'm gonna use these small brackets just like that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is get your brackets that you're gonna use. We're gonna go ahead and mount them. They only go in one way, just like that. This is the bag with those little screws. They're definitely a bit tight going in, which is very odd, but that's okay. I don't know why it's so hard to get those in. And now we're gonna go ahead and remove these little brackets on the case. For my motherboard, I'm gonna use this bag labeled AMD AM4 slash AM5. The corresponding nuts are actually in this bag. It's like a miscellaneous bag. So what you're looking for is these right here. They have a Phillips head on this side and a spring. That's the ones you're looking for. So the way I like to remove these, just to make it easier, there is a back plate on the back side of the motherboard. Back plate is held on by just these four screws so if you take them all out it's gonna fall out and then you're gonna have to hold it from the other side so what I like to do is start with the top two the whole bracket comes off and now the back plates not gonna fall out so what I like to do is take these mounting brackets and with this gray side facing the motherboard so here you can see what I'm talking about nice and snug then you can go ahead and remove the other one and install the other two all right now that that's done before we install this there's a little grommet right here we got to go ahead and find the cable that plugs into here and I like to do this before I install it just because it's a lot easier to do outside of the case so this is for the RGB cable. It looks like this on both sides. You take this side, plug it right in here. And now we're gonna go ahead and put thermal paste and do not forget to remove this plastic. If you forget to remove that, you're gonna have to take it back off. So peel that right off while it's in your head. And now grab your included thermal paste. And all you need is about a pea-sized dot. I prefer to do an X. And this is how I always do it and I never have issues. So before all the keyboard warriors come at me, try it yourself and let me know. 
Here we go. And that is installed. Just need these. Just loosely put these on for now. And we're gonna do final tightening in a second. All right, so the way you're gonna do this, take your screwdriver and you're gonna pick a corner and just give it a few turns, maybe three turns. Go the opposite corner, so right up here now, give it the same amount of turns. Go next to that one, same amount of turns. And go down to the opposite corner again, same amount of turns. And then keep going until it is completely tight and tight. And I like to go around and just double check one more time. Okay, so I ran the RGB wire to the back. So this cable right here has a little rail on it. It's a three pin. This is for the pump and you want to plug this into one of your fan headers on your motherboard. You can plug it into any fan header, but some motherboards have two CPU headers. So I'm going to show you mine. So hopefully this isn't too hard to see, but there's the CPU optional header. It should be something like CPU OPT and then that one the gray one on my motherboard is going to be the CPU. So what I'm gonna do is plug that white wire into this one on the left, cause that's the optional one. And that's where I want the pump. And then the fans will be plugged into that gray one. Now, considering this cable is shorter than the fan cables, what I personally do is I plug this one into my CPU header up here, even if I only have one. And then the fans, I plug into any fan header. So you'll be perfectly fine doing that. But if you're not comfortable doing that you can always plug in the fans into the CPU and then run this to the back and then run it to another fan header so I'll show you how to plug these in and we'll go from there all right this is gonna be a little hard to show you I'm holding my phone on here you can see this little rail I know it's a three pin only and these right here are four pin but you can see that little rail there and basically all you do is align this rail with that one and it slides right on So hopefully you were able to see that. I know I was shaking quite a bit. I'm trying to hold my phone and do this at the same time. And now basically that's plugged into the optional one. So that's how you'd plug in the pump. I'm gonna run it up and to the back. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn this around and focus on the fans and the RGBs. So they give you a couple options to plug these in. You can use the included remote if your case doesn't have addressable RGB. Addressable RGB is this three pin right here and I'm gonna choose to plug this into my motherboard. However, some motherboards don't have this. At that point, your only option is to get an addressable RGB controller such as the Razer ARGB controller. I'll put a link down in the description if you're interested in that and that'll work uh, with with most motherboards. But your other option is to use the included controller. And now we're gonna focus on connecting the RGB to our motherboard. So the first step, you're gonna take that splitter, this side with the two three pins on them, and I'm gonna plug the CPU into one of them, and then I'm gonna take one of the fans, doesn't matter which one, and we're gonna plug the fan into that one, and then we're gonna piggyback the other fan off of that one. So all the RGB is now going to be controlled by this one cable. So we gotta find where to plug this in. So in my case, I know there's one right here at the bottom, so I'm just gonna feed it to the to that bottom one and I'll show you once we turn around what it looks like and how to plug it in. So here's that cable that we were talking about and that's what it looks like. It's two pins and then skip one and then one pin. Right there where it says VDG, you don't plug it into that four pin, you plug it into the one that says VDG. So basically there's only one way to plug this into that so there we go you can see it's now plugged in and we're ready to go ahead and move on to plugging in the two fans all right so for the fans we're going to turn back around and find the two fan cables and for this they also include a fan splitter so what i'm going to go ahead and do and you can do this too or you can plug them into two separate fan headers i like to just use the included piece same way that you plugged in your cpu pump you plug these into here there's a little rail on here and a rail on here and then take your other fan and do the same thing and now you're just going to plug this cable into your motherboard i'm going to plug it into the cpu header you can choose to plug it into any other uh, fan header on your motherboard so here's some uh, system fans so same concept there's that little rail and there's a rail on here all you got to do align that just like that 
and push it in and you're all done. And that's how you'd plug it into any other fan header. It's the same concept. If you want to plug it into your CPU header, it's just harder for me to show you up there, but uh, that's where I'm going to plug mine in. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug this and plug it back in up top. And there it is. Everything's up and running and uh, good to go. If you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe. It's always free. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it helps the channel out a lot. Now, with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.